My name is Marguerite Bigler, and I'm here to do the closing remarks for the first ever Ignite Food. Yeah. <laughs> it is my pleasure to thank you all for being here. Thank you to all of our sponsors. Um, we, can, we could not have done this without your generous support. We have to give a special thanks to each and every one of them, and especially the food sponsors. How was that? Thank you so much. So if you enjoyed what you heard here tonight, take a moment and subscribe to our e-newsletter. You'll get information about all of our upcoming events, all of our ticketing, all of our ticket sales. And I mentioned ticket, ticket sales because the tickets go quickly. And we're talking a matter of hours. So you want to make sure that you, you're ready with your credit card to get them. Um, and if any of you tried to get tickets tonight for any friends that, and you couldn't, you understand what, what it's like not to, not to get that. Mark your calendars. Ignite 12 is coming up. Ignite Phoenix 12 is coming up at the Scottsdale Center for Performing Arts. Awesome. Um, we are still accepting submissions for that until March 30th. So please submit. Phoenix wants to hear your passion, and you deserve your five minutes up on this stage. Uh, we also have after hours coming up this, this summer. It's the third one. It's racy. It's edgy. It's R-rated. It's fun. And you don't want to miss it. <laughs> so again, we want to thank you all for being here tonight. Take a look around. 450 people came together tonight to hear these incredibly diverse speakers talk about their passion for food. It's incredible. The energy in this room tonight has been amazing. You all being here is a testament to the fact that food builds communities. Food isn't just bringing foodies to the table anymore, it's bringing communities to the table. To illustrate my point, let's take Phoenix as an example. Who remembers the food scene here 10 years ago? I do. Yeah. <laughs> Thanks, Bob <Lay. laughs> Granted, it was a veritable food desert. There were small oases here and there where we could go get local food, great food, learn about food. But things like farmer's markets, local food systems, carbon footprints, organics, concerns about what our children were eating in school, all of this stuff was not even in our vocabulary then. And let's look at Phoenix now. We are coming together to make this food desert bloom, and it's an amazing thing. We're proud of the food that we're creating here. We're proud of the food that grows here. We're talking about food issues. Food has had a direct, a direct role in the development of Phoenix as a city. And these speakers tonight reflect that. Each one of them brought to this stage a small part of the enormous food spectrum. That food spectrum is broad. It's far-reaching. There is one common denominator here, and that's you. Because we all need to eat to survive, we are part of the food spectrum. We're part of the food community. I invite you to think about where you are on the spectrum. Think about your role in this community, and think about what that community might look like in the future. To help you visualize this spectrum, I had a little bit of inspiration from one of our speakers here tonight. I'm going to give you a reference that we all know and can relate to in some way. The burrito. <laughs> Brian, thank you. Um, so maybe you are documenting and trying every form of burrito that could possibly exist. Maybe you're cooking and serving that burrito. Maybe you are ranching the cattle that will become the carne asada in that burrito. Um, maybe you're trying to make that burrito healthier for kids to eat. And maybe you're trying to promote awareness of that. Um, maybe you're just eating the burrito. <laughs> There's some of us. Um, no matter where you fit in here, you're part of a community and you're connected to people in more ways than you might have thought before. It is your choice to decide how active you are in that community. You've already started by being here tonight. And we urge you to continue the conversation. What do you want your food community to look like? And what do you want to see on this stage when the next Ignite Food rolls around? Talk to our presenters tonight. They're all available after the show for you. If you have questions, if you want to chat, you can talk to us. Just keep it going. Before we get on to the, the, the speakers, 
rewind. Before we get to that, I'd like to introduce you to the incredible team of volunteers that brought this event together. Come up on stage, you guys, for the night crew. From all of us to all of you, thank you so much for being here. Thank you for being a part of the food movement. We look forward to seeing you at Ignite 12, and we look forward to seeing you at the next Ignite Food. Thank you.